and welcome to another video. Today we'll be loading up a game that was released by, let me see, let me grab the, grab the box here. So it was released by Electric Dreams. Sorry about that. I thought I'd lost the box for a second. Uh, Electric Dreams. I want to say it was 85 or 86. And the name of the game is called Spin Dizzy. Now, um... This game was uh, very similar to a, a popular game that was out, I think, in the arcade, called Marble Madness. You controlled like a little, like a little ball bearing, and you had to navigate it through different types of puzzles. So, Spin Dizzy is is this is very similar, except that it just shows um, like one puzzle screen at a time. Whereas with I think Marble Madness, it was just uh, a scroll, like it would scroll. Uh, the entire maze uh, at one time, but uh, I'm not sure really how to describe that, but um, you'll see that, yeah, with Spin Dizzy, it was like one screen at a time, um, and it was like, let's say you go off the screen on the, off the left side, you'll then appear on the right side of another screen that would redraw afterwards, uh, but Marvel Man, is just like, you basically, you started at the top, and you just scroll down. Um, I, now, I don't think I have Marble Madness, at least not a working copy, so I'll see if I can get a copy of that game from somewhere, and um, I'll make another video of that, and then um, you can compare the two and see which one you prefer. From what I recall, though, I think the Marble Madness game got a lower rating on uh, uh, for its review in Zap64. They did like Spin Dizzy, though. So... Um, that's why I ended up going with Spin Dizzy instead of buying Marble Madness. Um, in fact, I remember very clearly that the Marble Madness uh, game got a low score, and also that the review in Zap64 was, was a black and white review. They didn't even have any color pictures, so they really didn't care for that game too much. But Spin Dizzy, that was a... I don't know if it was a gold medal game or if it was a sizzler, but um, I did uh, go ahead and purchase that. Um, and I, I played it a little bit. I, I wasn't very good at it, but um, but I did have fun playing it. Some of the levels are like impossibly hard, and it's frustrating when your ball flies off or fall, drops off the uh, the little ramps that it can it can uh, have to climb up. So uh, you'll see. And uh, as I've said in, in nearly all of my other videos, I haven't played these games in thirty plus years. So, uh, if I'm telling you I wasn't good at it then, I can't imagine how good I am now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm a lot worse. So, uh, this is just for entertainment, folks. This isn't try. This isn't supposed to be a, uh, <laughs> you know, an in-depth scrutiny uh, of uh, uh, scrutinization of this uh, particular game. It's just to show you how it looks and. Uh, you know, to get a feel for the sound that it offered and, you know, how good the graphics were. You know, um, that's what we're doing here. So, let's see when it loads up and I'll take you through it. As I recall, I don't think there really was much music in it. It was just sound effects. So, we'll see. While we're waiting for it to load up, I uh, just want to remind you, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you don't need to uh, click the notification or anything else like that. Just uh, just hit the subscribe button. And the reason for that is it will help other Commodore 64 enthusiasts like yourself 
it will help them find this video a little bit easier due to the YouTube search algorithm. So just subscribe, uh, like it, and uh, help out your fellow Commodore 64 enthusiast. Here we go. So fire to start is for the scores, options, and help. Now, I'm not sure if this works in port 2 or port 1. I'm going to try port 2. Yep, here we go. All right, so as I was saying before, all right, that is me right there. Oh, and, and as you see, I've just fallen off the edge of the world there. But yeah, we got to pick up these little, uh, these... Ah! got to pick up these little... And there you go, I just fell off again. We've got to pick up these little jewels. Now, so I've got two. Now, it's pretty tricky. It's, it's really sensitive. Now, got to be really careful here. Oh, and you see, and that's the danger. So you get here, and then, now you got to... And then you get there, you go, you die again. So now, oh, oh god, oh good. There's two diamonds there, but now you see, oh, it's really difficult to control. <laughs> All right. Oh, don't don't fall down. Stay right there. Don't mind. All right, good. I'm not sure why I came this way anyway. Ah. Never gonna jump over there. All right. I think I'm running out of time. Oh, there you go. Oh, and it looks like that's game over right there. I'm out of time. All right, let's try that again. I don't know. Got to hit a key. Continue. Can't press the fire button. All right. So I got. Uh, I completed one screen. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's change my. Uh, I think there was a way of changing the. Uh, I guess not. I thought there was a way of changing my. Uh, my icon. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We're going to go a different way this time. Oh, no, I don't want to go that way. Now, I can't recall if there's a time penalty when every time you die. I don't remember if there is. Nope, don't go out there, don't go out there. Come back. I want to get up there, I want to get that jewel. Come on. No, don't fall down. So it looks like there is like a five second time penalty every time I die. And I don't know how many points you get. Oh no, there's another one here. Do I get like five points when I... Ooh, this will be tricky.
Oh, look at that. How am I going to get up there? Go on, get up there, go on. Go on. Go on a little bit more, go on, get up there. Go on, get up there. Oh, look at that. So it looks like this, if I drop down here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Didn't expect to end up there. So you can go, if that was through here, but I'm not gonna be able to get back up there again. We can try. Ah, forget it. Let's go somewhere else. I'm not sure what this does. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's a platform. Well, look at that. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off there. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh. Well, if I come down a little bit. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go down. Let's go this way. There's nothing in there. It's this way. There's <laughs> nothing there either. Alright, let's go this way then. I'm not sure what that noise means. Let's be moving a bit quicker here. Now let's try it from a different place. Let's come this way. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's bad news there. Although it didn't kill me, I think it took some of my time away. Let's see, how can I get up here? Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that, that sucked up some of my time. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. It's pretty tricky. The controls are like... Really sensitive. Come on, get up. Stay right there. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Go on, get up. Yes. Now, that is... Let it go that way. think there's anything else out that way, is there? Nowhere. <coughs> mm. 
looks like I'm going to have to head back to that area that I tried in the first game. And it's pretty tough to navigate. Well, you know what? Let's go this way. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's come straight now. No. Losing time here. Come on. Oh. This this game is so difficult. You have no idea. Come on, if I can get to this one, I've got 20 seconds to get to this. Get to this. Let's see what. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, man, that's it. So, you can see on that screen here, there's 370 more. 374 74 more screens to do. I'm not sure if anyone's ever finished this game. At least, not without any cheats. But, uh. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, but it's an enjoyable game. This is Spin Dizzy for the Commodore 64, released by Electric Dreams back in, I believe, 1986. Written by Paul Shirley. Um, it also came out for a few other systems. I think it was out on the uh, on the Amstrad. And possibly the Sinclair Spectrum. It might have been out on that, I'm not sure. But either way, it's a nice game. I preferred this. And as I said earlier, I will look and see if I have a working copy of Marble Madness, and then we can compare the two. Um, but uh, until next time, uh, hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this, and you can relive some history here with these 8-bit computers this Commodore 64 this is what us folks used to play when we were in our early teens back in the 1980s until next time folks thanks again